This is a Minecraft escape room with the lowest level of realism. I can't even see through the water and my crosshair is literally a square. But for every room I escape, Minecraft will keep getting more realistic until my PC explodes. The first room was savannah themed. I was able to find these buttons so I pressed all of them and one of them made a ding noise and dropped down water on the outside. So I went up the water and found a very detailed chest with a square inside of it. The square was actually a netherite hoe, so I used it to start hoeing the edge blocks to hopefully reveal something behind them. I eventually found out one of the blocks was connected to some redstone and it put a block of sand inside of my inventory. The sand could only be placed on sandstone though which was kind of a problem. After a couple minutes I ended up finding the sandstone hidden under the opaque water pool and that unlocked the entrance to the next room. Now the graphics were looking a little better. I was in the nether and I could see the exit on an island across the lava. So I parkoured up the trees and searched the top of them but found nothing. I noticed I could cross these vines to the glowstone though and now I was able to reach an island. The island had a barrel with a saddle in it so I took that and went back down. I then parkoured again and I checked the other glowstone but all I found was a button that did nothing. I spent the next 5 minutes searching for anything else in the room and I found nothing. So I just kept trying to jump across the lava without dying and eventually it worked. In room 3 I was now able to see myself when I looked down. It was a snow biome with a cabin and I instantly noticed some barrels. So I searched them and found a raw pork chop and a piece of charcoal. I found another pork chop in a hidden barrel and then I entered the house. In the house there was even more empty barrels and there was also a smoker so I decided to cook the pork. Cooking the pork gave me a stone shovel and I climbed onto the roof of the house only to find another piece of charcoal. From the top of the house I was able to see another chest though so I parkoured over to the chest and found a lever inside of it. Now that I had checked everything I started digging the snow with the shovel because that seemed logical. In one corner I found a hidden room that had another lever inside of it. And in another corner I found another hidden room that required me to use the lever to enter it. When I entered the room there was another door and I was able to use my other lever to go to the next room. In room 4 the shaders had gotten better but this was still nothing compared to what was to come. I also forgot to enable the texture pack so pretend it's like this. I was in a jungle with a huge temple in the middle and I needed to make a sacrifice. I found these blocks which were making weird sounds when I stood on them and I climbed up the temple in the middle only to find a chest that was empty. I climbed on top of the trees and I found a sunflower in the leaves but I was unable to break it. I went up higher and I found a chest with one gold ingot in it and that was it. Next I climbed up this hill and I found a hidden chest in the corner with a lead inside of it. So I put the lead on this cow and nothing happened. But then I took the cow over to the blocks that were making sounds and I stood on the other one and it made a noise. I went towards where I heard the noise and I found a chest with another gold ingot in it. I decided to check out what this villager was trading next and I found a trade for a stone hoe that required a lead. So I traded for the stone hoe and saw that it could be used to break a sunflower which I needed for the other trade option. So I went back to the top of the tree and broke the sunflower. I brought the sunflower back and now I had a melon which could be placed on top of the coarse dirt. I found coarse dirt beside another melon so I placed the melon down and heard another noise. I went towards the noise and a chest had appeared in this cave which had another gold ingot. At this point there was nothing left to do so I put my gold in the chest at the top assuming it was where I should put my sacrifice. When I put my gold in the chest things started happening and I made it to the next room. In room 5 things were starting to get realistic. My FPS was dropping rapidly and I still had more rooms to complete so I needed to hurry up because my PC was getting ready for takeoff. I was in a mine and I don't know why but I took this person's head. I also found an iron pickaxe which could only break iron ore so I started mining. I found a room beyond the iron with a person named Flumu or something, I don't know, so I took their head too. I kept mining iron and I found Flimus and there was a lever hidden in the lava behind Flimus which could only be placed on mossy stone bricks. So I looked around for mossy stone bricks and I found an iron door which I was able to open. I found Paul and Paul was trading 3 iron for a stone button. The problem was I had raw iron because I played the map on the wrong version. So don't tell anyone what happened but now I have a button. There was also a book on a lectern and it had a bunch of words in it. I could only place the button on chiseled stone bricks which were right in front of me but I didn't realize it. So I looked around for almost 5 minutes while my IQ was draining and there was clearly a reason for that. Eventually I went back to the room and found out these were chiseled stone bricks. So I magically got more buttons and each time I pressed a button the color of the block changed in front of it. When you actually read the book it tells you that you need to enter a color combination. The only place I had seen colors was the armor of the people around the mine so I tried putting their colors in alphabetical order but it didn't work. I actually just had them in the wrong order though so I tried again and it opened the entrance to room 6. Room 6 had a lot nicer shaders but my FPS was dropping even faster. I was in a room from one of those rich mansions that are always haunted. I found a flower, then I found a secret room behind a trap door and in the room there was an emerald on the table and nothing else I could take. I also stole the armor off of these armor stands and checked every barrel and trap door until I found a diamond. 
It was looking like my new goal was to rob this mansion rather than escape it, but then I realized someone was home and they looked very scary. It turns out they wanted to trade these items for the exact set of armor that I had, but I was still missing two of the items though so I only did the first two trades. There was a book telling me Larry gave the key to Barry and this was Barry so now I knew I didn't get scammed. I went back out to the main room and found the sunflower right where I started, and now I only needed an iron nugget. I ended up finding a room behind this large wall of paintings and inside of it was the nugget. So I took the nugget back to Barry and got the last piece of armor. I tried putting on the armor but it did nothing but then I remembered where I got it from and it made sense. So I placed the armor on the armor stands and I heard a noise but the door was still closed. I ran around for anything else and I found a secret room behind the paintings but it was useless. So I ran around some more and I found a hidden room in the most obvious place it could have been. In this room there were four swords on the wall and I instantly knew I had to rotate them in a certain way to open the door. I remembered seeing a sword like this in the first hidden room so I left the room and I ended up finding the diamond sword instead which was pointing at the top left. So I rotated the diamond sword and I ran back to the trapdoor hidden room and found the gold sword pointing at the bottom left. Now I just needed to find one more sword because I could just guess the last one. So I went back to the useless room beyond the painting and it was still useless. I ended up finding the last sword in the first open room and it was pointing towards the middle right. So I guessed the last sword and I heard a noise telling me the door was open. So I went through the door and the gold block was here to teleport me to the next room. Room 7 had new shaders and they came with really annoying motion blur. I also had a very realistic shadow. I found a chest with a wooden shovel that could break red sand so I started digging. After breaking almost every block of red sand I found a chest containing a cactus. The cactus could only be placed on top of a cactus so I found a cactus I could place it on and it created a staircase. When I got to the top of the staircase, it let me jump to a tree, and the tree had a chest with cocoa beans in it that could only be placed on jungle logs. So I found the one spot on this tree it would let me place them, and a ding went off and I was given a turtle egg. I didn't notice I was given a turtle egg though, so I spent 5 minutes being stupid before I noticed the egg and saw I could only place it on sandstone. So I spent 5 more minutes searching every sand block because of the realistic textures, but then I found out it was the block that already had the turtle eggs on it. Placing the turtle egg gave me sugarcane, which I placed on the only sugarcane without string on top of it to open the entrance to the final room. Room 8 looked like some sort of backrooms maze, so I put on the final level of realism but unfortunate things happened. I wasn't giving up though, so I started my game up with more memory allocated and after another crash I got it to work but I wasn't able to last more than 30 seconds without crashing, so enjoy this accurate representation of the last level.